Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very fun one, very quick and fast. Uh, just because it is currently my 20th birthday when I'm filming this, May 31st. So I want to get this up as soon as possible. So I am filming this. I just got ready for bed, so I am in my PJs and stuff like that. Um, and sorry if the angling is weird. Um, I just wanted to sit in my comfortable bed. We're going to be doing my May book wrap up. Super fun and exciting. I'm just going to get into it. So the first book I read, I actually read this on my iPad and that was Ever True, which was the third book to the Everneath series. Um, I read the first two books in April and then finished off the series this month. So that was the last book in the trilogy. And then I also read Neverfall. I also read Neverfall, which is a novella. It's actually 1.5 in the series. I actually didn't know about this novella, so I read it at the very end, but I really enjoyed it. It was good. Overall, the series, I actually really enjoyed it, and I would recommend it if you're into, like, Persephone and Hades retelling. I enjoyed it. The next book I read is The Spanish Love Deception. I know this book has a lot of controversy. I feel like that is the correct word to describe this book. A lot of people compare it to The Hating Game because it's kind of like the enemies to lovers trope. It is a workplace romance. They both go to weddings and yeah, it's very interesting. I actually really enjoyed this. I rated it four out of five stars. I thought it was cute. Um, I liked Aaron Blackford. I personally really liked him. Um, but yeah, this one was cute. If you guys are looking for like a cutesy, very quick read, I would recommend this one. I will say this book is a little bit longer and I feel like it probably could have been condensed, but um, it wasn't that big of a deal to me. Next book I read was Most of All You, which is a Mia Sheridan novel. I also read this one on my iPad. I really enjoyed this one. I rated it 4 out of 5 stars. It wasn't as good as Archer's Voice, but it was still really good. Um, I did a reading vlog about it, so I'll have it um, up here just if you guys want to watch it. I was talking about how Sarah Crowley and I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her last name right, but her and I had a conversation on Instagram about how redeeming love and most of all you are basically the same thing. Most of all you is just a very modernized version of it. And I personally really enjoyed it. Um, that may have been because I liked Redeeming Love, so I liked like the remake kind of of it. I loved it. Um, Mia Sheridan so far has gotten a five star rating and a four star rating for me. So pretty good odds. This book I read was my nonfiction book and that was Is God Anti-Gay by Sam Albury. I rated this four out of five stars. I actually thought it was very educational and good. I know the subject is very like controversial. I know I've already said that in this video, but it definitely is. And I love learning more just about religion and homosexuality and ally. So I think reading things like this is very important um, from both sides, whatever you do believe. But yeah, it was pretty good. And then I read a super exciting book and that was Emily Henry's Book Lovers. This book was so good. I rated it five out of five stars, obviously. I still think, um, I still think Beach Read tops this one, but this one is like a very close second. I loved the twist of like the like the hallmark romance, like business guy goes to a small town, falls in love with the girl that is running the family owned business. He uh, decides to leave his New York City busy lifestyle for the girl. And this twist on it was it's told like from the girlfriend that he leaves in the city. Hopefully that made sense, but I really enjoyed it. And I also really enjoyed the big sister aspect. I feel like I related to that a lot as a big sister to three younger siblings. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought both characters were very lovable and they loved books. And I love seeing the insides of a book company because I hope to work in the book. Um, the book market um but yeah i really did enjoy this one this was my colleen hoover book of the month i've been trying to read a colleen hoover book every month so i read heartbones i rated this five out of five stars just because i love colleen hoover and i think i've rated every single one of her books five stars this one was set on the beach so i thought it was perfect for the month of may and i would say it's not necessarily ya but it is a younger like audience or it's a younger um, the, the characters are younger than her normal books, so you can take that into consideration, but of course there's a coho, um, plot twist that just shakes the, shakes the book, um, but 
Yeah, I read this one. The next three books I read is actually a series, and this is the very popular, I feel like it's super popular this month and last month, and that is the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. Um, <laughs> it's like packed up. The reason it's popular is because the TV show is coming out um, like June 17th, I think. So I read all three of them, and that's the Summer I Turned Pretty. We'll always have summer, and then it's not summer without you. I actually said those out of order, but it's fine. I rated all of these four out of five stars. I thought they were pretty good. Um, they're YA. Rated these four stars. I read this earlier in the month, but I forgot to mention it, and that is The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. I rated this one four stars. I also read this in my reading vlog, and yeah, I thought it was good. It was a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be, so that's always fun to read about. Um, but yeah, this one. The last five books I read is The Throne of Glass, first five books. I am sad to say I didn't finish the series. I only have three books left, um, but it's okay. They will be, they'll be read in June, so it's perfectly fine. I read uh, The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, uh, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, and then Queen of Shadows, and I love them. They have all been five stars. I'm really enjoying the series. I think I love Sarah J. Moss's um, world, her story building, and yeah, I'm super excited to finish that series. But I think that is all the books I read this month. I read 15 books this month, which is a really good reading month, and I feel like a lot of these were four out of five stars, so that's super exciting. But yeah, this is going to be at the end of the video. Let me know what you guys read this past month and what you plan on reading in June. And I will see you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye, guys.